Time to play with some clay. Well, again, it's late at night. It's close to, uh, well, about 8.30 in the evening. It's just, uh, I've been cleaning the house and uh, getting it ready to be shown. The uh, landlord wants to sell the house and all the property on it. And uh, so I've been trying to get it ready for him to show. I put uh, one of my cameras on the sculpting stand. Now it's the next day and I'm back on the clay. I'm going to redo these eyes. I'm not happy with them. I'm using a ballpoint pen to make the uh, irises in the eyes. Probably not the best thing to do, but it works. It gives me a, <coughs> a direction for the eyes so that uh, I can adjust the uh, eyelids. Because they 
are shaped different when the eye is looking in a particular direction. If you don't think this isn't delicate work, you're crazy. <laughs> this is very delicate work. Almost like a physician. My eyesight's not that good and it makes it even harder to get everything just right. Well, I'd show you how I'm going to do my eyes, but you're going to have to buy a DVD to find that out because I have to sell DVDs to keep me going here. If you want to find out where my DVDs are and what they have on them, uh, just check the uh, link in the video description below this video. I'm sorry, I would love to show you it, but people pay for these DVDs and they want to be able to feel like they're, they've got a uh, unique access to my knowledge. Well, I've got the face just about complete as far as the eyes go. I still got a lot of work on the face. It's not quite where I want it to be yet. I was going to work on this uh, tomorrow, but it's Saturday and I've got uh, possible buyers of this house and property coming on Monday to walk through the house and I want to get the house uh, presentable and I've got just barely got a storage space to uh, put my stuff in and uh, my extra stuff that I had at my studio. I got a 10 by 20 to I buy a 20 uh, storage space which is going to be just fantastic for me. I don't know why I didn't get one back when I first moved here to this valley. It would have saved me a lot of work. I'll be busy tomorrow and probably Monday moving stuff to my new storage unit which I've got. Uh, I just uh, was notified two weeks ago, well a week ago Monday, that they were going to sell my house that I'm in and it was much worse than this when I started last week. I moved out a lot of boxes and a lot of stuff that was from my old studio. I've still got a bunch down here underneath the uh, tables and on top of the tables that I can now start moving out to uh, my storage unit and I'm going to be doing that as well as moving these lights and a few other things. The mannequins up here that I have and uh, a lot of the stuff here on this table, which is a bunch of clutter right now. But that counter back there was completely covered in junk and boxes and all kinds of stuff from the move and at, on the floor below it was just stacked up to the uh, top of the, the counter with uh, boxes and items I hadn't been able to put away yet. Did that this last week and uh, still not a great, it, it's still a house studio. It's not ne necessarily your ideal house. I'll be back on this guy next week. I, I've got to uh, get this, uh, I, I don't have to do it. I'm, just doing it because I got to keep my mind straight and I like the idea of the uh, sculpture and I like the idea of the uh, total design of the sculpture and it's just a matter of me getting everything uh, done so sometime next week I'll be back and I'll see you then good night everybody 
give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional DVDs uh, the link down below this video all right see you next time